Okay, so back to Prairie. And I think I'm actually going to end up going home first. And I'm going to show you a little bit around home. Okay, home space, when, it's, when you're in the constellation area, it's dark so that you can see the stars. Home space has your closet. And here on this account, I believe I had the, nope, this is still the same account. This is the brown cape. Still only, I did buy my ponytail access to all of your cosmetics, your instruments and your hair, cape, mask, leggings. You have your constellation table. You have your invite shrines. A few candles. It's just a little space. Um, and your portals to the levels. Now obviously I've only gone to Prairie and Isles. That's all I have open. Okay, so back to Prairie. Uh, there's my home portal. There's my closet. Um, there's chat tables or chat benches down there on the around that circle. There's two chat benches that seat two players each. Um, there's the emote stones. There's some other players. There's a little stage area, um, and that's about it. And then there's some candles to collect. And so this is the little social space. So then you go down here and you get to fly over the clouds. And I don't think you get any more prompting for how to fly. Uh, again, clouds help you charge if you lose charge. Um, and this pushes you down onto the ground, which I don't care for, but that's the way it is. Okay, so you see the green glow above ahead of us. Oof, I'm having trouble flying. <laughs> How bad I am at this. And there's also, you can see a gold glow on top of that thing. Okay, so here's our first emote of the area. And this will be, this guy has, um, moved around a bit. Wow, just thinking about how, how different it all has, has been. Somebody's already started this one, so I'm just going to go help him finish it. Uh, so there. And sometimes that, that's going to happen. You'll find these in the midst of, of progress. Um, but I can still see it and collect it. Sometimes that happens, and then here's this guy. Uh, if you can be anywhere in the area when someone else starts it, and you will see it in the middle of progress. I, I think I ran into that once here in Prairie. And this guy obviously has a cape you can buy. I've long thought some of these ancestors, ancestor spirits look funny in their clothing, but hey, some of this has not changed in forever. That one looks awfully gold instead of blue, at least to me right now, love watching it. Um, they didn't used to have the ancestors show you what they had in their, in their uh, spirit shop. It's kind of nice now that they do, so you can see especially the colors of the capes. So chirping big, the butterflies, light creatures bring me up here to this star child. I kind of wish those prompts and hints would go away after the 12th time you've seen them. Cape upgrade. I do like that it tells you how many more to go, but it doesn't need to tell me in two places. Um, anyway, enough of my complaints. Uh, there are some candles down there that I believe requires a emote from somewhere to open that. Then here's another star child over here. Oh, tell me I didn't miss. Oh my god. And of course, right over here, the, the wind is pushing you down. Oh, I hate that. Okay, anyway, we can get back up there. I think we, I, I think we managed to get back up there. Or maybe I gave up. I'm just trying to use the clouds to help push me up. 
I think there were actually butterflies over there I could have used to dopey me. I'm stubborn. <laughs> I want to fly there. Plenty of room that time. And you can see the green constellation gate to my left there is because I can't get there just yet. Uh, this is known as the fields area. It's, and you can see the constellation gate over, over on that side. That way is the caves ahead of us. Right where we're at is the nest behind me. I didn't even look at it. Um, the names of the areas aren't used a lot now, but they're still used sometimes. And so it's kind of helpful to know what they are so when you hear it uh, tgc tends to use old names for things a lot of the time um there's one of one in here in prairie so this uh this level used to be called day uh day and i think they did they did rename it daylight prairie for a while it was just prairie um but it is back to daylight prairie but it, it, it was just day the first level isle of dawn was dawn this was daylight prairie day daylight prairie um, I think it was Plains of Day. Plains of Day at some point. Um, pretty sure when I started playing it was Daylight Prairie. I don't remember now, it's been a while. And then this goes into the Villages area. Uh, when they first introduced these areas, this, this, all of this, the caves and uh, nests didn't exist. I'm sorry, caves and fields didn't exist. Nest and villages were one area. All this was in one area. It was slightly different. And then they broke it all up and they added caves and nest, or uh, caves and villages. Or that. I keep saying that wrong. Here's another star child. <laughs> uh, and they added quests and that sort of thing. And now they've taken the quests away, unfortunately. Um, Oh, another thing to mention is all of the emotes, when you initially collect them, give you a candle. So you earn a candle for every emote you collect. Unfortunately, you only collect them the first, your first play, first one, you only collect them one time. Ah, so here we go. I have a person over here in the process of doing this emote. So the emote um, uh, beginning is in that little cave there by a, a door. Um, that's where it begins. So underneath where we are right now, and then it ends here. So this is the one I found in progress, which is going to happen sometimes. I have to tap this little light thingy to burn the darkness off of him and free him. this um, animation, these animations were not there at the beginning. The animations were quite a bit simpler. Um, this emote was in the room below where we are, in a totally different place. Um, they, were, they didn't take up as much space. They weren't as busy uh, as, as animated, as complex, kind of. They were much simpler. Um, when they were redoing all these emotes, oh my god, we were having a great time because it was just so neat to see them. And then a lot of them have been changed since we stopped collecting them all the time. And some people, this is the first time they've seen some of these now that the beta's been reset. Um, so it was, a, it was a great opportunity for a lot of players to see everything that they just hadn't seen because they didn't have to collect it. It was, it was already collected forever. A lot of us maxed everything out months and months ago. Um, you know, the, the seasonal seasons were the only reason to play. It, or the only things to collect were in the season. You know, the seasons and then you know, social, the, the friends. So now we're gonna. This area's purpose is lighting the bell towers. There is an emote in this door. I'm wondering if I have a person who'll follow me over here. I'm calling for somebody. Hey, come help me. Um, there are so many people playing right now. It's, it's pretty easy to find people to help you. I think I have somebody coming. I see him. There he is. Um, it has not been the case. They added 
hundreds and hundreds of people with the reset. Um, whether that was actually intentional or accidental, I don't know. Um, they kind of put the link out there in public. Uh, or publicly available to just download the, the beta. Uh, without having an invite, they kind of left it open. Um, and whether they actually invited from their and, and everybody oh and everybody on their list was was brought in, so everybody who was on the waiting list got in, um, and then whoever the the link was shared with, which probably wasn't that many, um, but it was quite public. It wasn't it wasn't um it was a generic anyway. Um, so now there are people everywhere. I mean there are. A lot of people around. Um, I I tried to do the eight person puzzle, which I did not go to in this in this walkthrough. Um, I tried to go to the eight person puzzle, and I had eight people all of a sudden just they just appeared. It's just amazing. Now, one thing that TGC did say in the live stream today is that um, the the player limit has actually been reduced to five, so that there's room for friends to join friends in a level which will help the teleport to friend um, thing. So I haven't really seen that be a, a, a problem, um, but it's interesting that, that that's what they're trying to do so that friends can still teleport to friends. You know, the, the thing is, you know, you don't want to be stuck at five if, if you need eight for the eight player thing. Uh, but it, 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 I haven't really seen that yet. Cause like I said, I did end up with eight players, whether that was people teleporting, I don't know. I. I think I teleported to myself, so on an alternate. Yeah. Anyway, it, it was just interesting that they they're trying to work with that teleport. Because um, that does that does pose a problem is when there's eight players already, you can't teleport to a friend who's already at the max. See here, I end up with a random friend to help me with these, which is really cool. Obviously, this is an experienced beta. You can you can tell experienced beta testers as in pre-reset beta testers, because they'll have the orange cape. And most of them are wearing it. That doesn't mean all brown capes will be brand new beta testers, but if it's an orange cape, it definitely is not a brand new beta tester. Um, the orange cape was available in the very, very, very earliest of the beta and taken out within the first six weeks because I started it at six weeks and it was not there. Um, it is available for purchase in the live version. So once it's the global launch, it will be available for purchase. It's the only cape that's avail available for purchase. The game itself is free to play in the, in the global launch. Uh, it will just have in-app purchases. So stars, or not stars, candles, and um, season passes will be for purchase. And then the orange cape. So here we had another star and another emote. This will be the uh, clapping applause emote. I like this little guy. I'm not sure what's happening, why that's having trouble getting over here for me. It's not triggering. There it goes. You gotta get the little green guy over to the little darkness covered guy to get it to burn. Uh, sometimes it's a little wonky. Uh, one of the memos doesn't even work right now. So you're watching him put this together. Um, oh, I, I was wrong. This is the emote that was in the eight gate room. It was the applause emote. The laugh emote. Oh gosh, I'd have to go back and look at old videos. Pretty sure I have them. It was all just so different. Whole different areas. I mean, there's, there's places that aren't, don't even exist anymore. That they've, they've taken away. And here's another emote. See big green aura, and I didn't look at the, the emote menu here to see what's available. <coughs> yep. 
And there is, again, one emote in Prairie that is you're locked out of until you've gone to the next level. It's not always true in every level, just the aisles and Isle and Prairie make you go somewhere else and then go back completely. I think everything in Forest was available. Yeah, everything everywhere else is available. Oh, one of the later levels does have one area you can't get into without going to the next level first. So there's sometimes it has, it's, it's something you, you have to go, you move on and come back to. I don't really mind it. Um, it encourages replay. Uh, oh, I got caught in the scene, the mantis scene. Somebody finished the bell towers. So when you, this is the last ringing of the bell tower once you've gotten them all and this, this is the scene that, that plays. And I got, somebody else did it and I got caught in, in the scene. Which is a bit of a complaint is getting caught in cut scenes that you didn't initiate. Because then you're like lost. Now here's another um, star child. Child of light. I call it a star child. Star children. Wing Delight, yes, thank you. You've told me 20 times now. Actually, you've told me... I can't read my number. Anyway, a bunch of times now. So, do I have everything here now? Nope, I think there's one more over here. Did I get that one? Oops, candles. I do forget that I have to collect candles now. I don't have 200 like I used to. Okay, I'm piecing together some other clips because I did not go to these areas on this one run through, so I have to piece together some others. So now we're going to visit caves. And this takes, you have to have um, emotes from both Isle and Prairie before you can enter this area. I went right through the gate. Uh, I think it's two emotes from Prairie and then two from Isle. And then here we're going after stars. Now this actually, this clip here is taken from the most recent beta version in which we were told there could be some star movement. Um, so far from Prairie there hasn't been. So uh, stars, the star children, the children of light are still moving around. Um, so this first one in caves has been here all, all along. And it's in a hole in the wall uh, near the entrance, uh, well, near the near the tunnel that goes to Prairie. So it's up above there. Um, I had some difficulty, but here you'll be able to see it. And there he is. And so he is still there for now. But these um these are very, very, very often going to move, um, at least until global launch. But possibly even after global launch, I have a feeling it's something that uh, they may move around from time to time just to keep things interesting. This seems like a very likely thing to happen. Okay, so there's one. I didn't realize initially that I had a, a cape upgrade to do. Then the other is more close to the um, open area in the beginning right when you enter from fields so I came up high to get to it and that's when you can see it and I'll get the cape so you can see again there we go uh, that hole in the wall right there and this is off to the left if you're coming from fields off to the right if you're coming from villages this is why the names of the areas are, are important because you can refer to the areas easier if you know them so here's another one, and he again has been here as long as the star children have been here. So hopefully these ones won't change, but they might. Uh, we definitely have some empty caves where there used to be things in them, so you never know. There's a lot of caves. If you are looking for something that you can't find, find holes in the walls, because there's a lot of caves here. And there's the opening again right to the right, right above where we are. That's the opening where the other star is that we've already gotten. 
uh, in forests especially, lots of caves, caves and tree houses, um, hollow trees, things like that, nice places to hide things. So we're gonna, um, I think we're gonna continue on this. Yeah, we're gonna continue with this and we're gonna visit um, Nest, which is the other area that I didn't do on my original run through that I'm mostly doing this, this this series of videos on. So we're gonna cut, we're gonna go over there and uh, villages, or not villa, this is villages. Um, sorry, there's the cut. Um, Nest takes, it needs four emotes from Prairie before you can enter. You can see the the wall, the, the force field thing there. Again, I was able to just fly right through it. Usually you actually have to burn. Um, to me, it's like if you already have it, you should be able to go right through it like you could on those two. Yeah. That's not always the case though. Sometimes you do still have to burn it. So in here we have an emote. In caves there is an emote, but you can't get to it till after you visited forest. So I didn't I'm going to tag that onto the end here. I think I mentioned that before. Uh, but here's our emote in Nest. This is the bird call. This used to be a lot harder to do when you actually had to drag a light fragment along with you. Oh, it was murder. <laughs> Thankfully, they've simplified that. They've, they simplified um, the emote collection at the same time as they have expanded um, the, the sequences. So it, originally there was no quest like, the, quest like this to collect an emote. You simply burned a candles at a stone uh, and the emote appeared. And there was a little, a little uh, animation that played. Pretty simple and not really complicated, fairly short and uh, you collected the emote. That was it. That was all there was to it. Um, you upgraded by you know, collecting it again after finishing the game once and you collect them all and you just collected emotes to increase your wings. Uh, that's all changed. They added the emote sequences. First they started expanding the emote scenes. These scenes that you just watched. They expanded those. Um, then they added quests to the collection of the emote. Uh, so then you were doing these quests every single time, still having to do the emotes multiple times uh, in order to increase your cape. There's a star down there. Um, then they uh, ha and then since then they've, they've taken away the they've added the stars and taken away the emotes as being part of increasing your cape. So now you only ever see the emote sequences once. All of the emote sequences have been expanded. All of the animations have been, mo many of the animations have been changed. Um, it's interesting that as they have, they've, have, as they have expanded the emote, sequence and animation and and and, and cutscene they've also made you only ever get to see it once <laughs> so which is good and bad you don't have to sit through it every time uh, at the same time they're actually really cool and a lot of the especially like the live game players um, are never going to see those animations unless they just start a new game center id and play fresh on their uh, on their game because they won't have to repurchase the game, but they'll they'll start fresh. That's the only way they're ever going to see the emote and new emote animations on beta. Obviously, we were reset, so everybody got is getting to see them. And obviously, we'll play the live version, in which case we won't have any progress. Uh, but a lot of people, I know, I've seen them many times. And here we're going back to my main. Uh, my main ID that I was doing this run on. So now we're going to hit, you know, grab the manta. We've already done the bell towers. Um, we're just cutting back to where I left off.
Uh, grab the manta and go up. And I'm going to cut back again to the others because I didn't get all the stars on this one. I couldn't. I just wanted to get the manta animation in here. Such a normal run through would be grabbing the manta. Um, activating the bell towers and grabbing the manta. We're going to cut back to these three so we can see where the stars are. These are currently in the um, June 15th beta. These are still here. Uh, I wanted especially to make sure the next one is still here and it is. And this just happens to be that I had an ID that didn't already have them. Um, and the, of course you need friends to help you with this one because it's hard to get up here alone. Pretty much impossible to get up here alone. There's nothing to charge you. Um, there used to be candles up here. I don't recall there being candles now. Doesn't seem like it. There's the star. I don't see candles. And there's this guy. So when we go through the doorway, we're going to cut back to the other character. Um, so there's been a, just a ton of changes in this beta. Um, just a ton. It's like playing three or four or five different games over the course of the last 16 months. Um, I do like the colors. Right now we're all stuck with browns and yellows and reds. It looks really kind of, it looks very autumn-y, autumn-ish. Um, very pretty. I like it. It's very earthy. I like it a lot. No black, no blue, no green, no, very little green. Uh, mostly everybody's in brown, red, yellow, and orange. All of us beta players, existing beta players, got the orange cape. So you see a lot of orange capes. On everybody else new has a brown cape. Okay, so we're cutting back to this character. I'm going to show you where the candles are now. These have all moved, so they'll probably move again. But there's some hidden ones down here, and you got to get yourself down to the ground, which can be challenging. Down, down, below. I keep jumping across. Um, there, we're, I think we're down now. Yeah. And then back behind and under. Now they added these. They added a smiley face of candles. <laughs> I didn't I didn't show it from the top, from above, but the smiley face. And then we have to finish our cutscene so that we actually have access to our emote maps. This is a scene you cannot skip even if you have a skip button. Right now you can't skip it and uh, have your emote spirit go to the sky. Spirit has to go into the sky so that you can access their map. This is another cutscene that has not changed since I started playing in March 2018. he's always been. Uh, you can eventually uh, acquire their hair and exactly how you do that I am not sure at this point because it's changed and since I've had it I don't know and getting it again now will be a long process if it's possible. So we'll see this is this is not the one I'll go for first. The one I'll go for first is the forest. Um, but you probably have to complete the um, uh, the emote map for that level, which would be every emote, every collectible, and every emote in the level. It used to be just um, finding every spirit in the level, but obviously that's changed. So it will be interesting to see um, if it's that simple, or if it's collecting everything in every emote, or what it is. You do have to complete the game before you're, before you'll even have the opportunity. I have not done so yet on the reset. So here we're finished. 
that scene, this is also the same, has always been this little rise and this little walk. However, through the transition is different. This is, here is the rest area or social space for forest. You have your closet in the trees. You have your gateway, your port area. That's just a gateway down to forest. The spirits that you freed in prairie. I obviously won't have all of them here because I skipped some. Apparently I, I did not record the rest of this playthrough on Prairie. The um, initial emote is free. The You just tap it. Kind of ignore or to acknowledge receiving it. That is free, but everything else costs hearts. There's where the harp is now. That's... I don't have enough hearts. Um, so I'm basically just looking at my emotes right now. Blue flame indicates that I have freed the emote. A blank stone indicates I have not. There is, however, one blank stone in this area that indicates a seasonal spirit that I will not be able to find. I do hope they remove those and basically make their maps only available in, in home space because they're not always going to be there and it will look like you are missing something when you aren't. It's the stone right over there to the right of the gateway there. That is a seasonal emote. The one right off to the right there is a seasonal emote, so you will not be able to get that one. And then here is your home space portal. Now we're going to go back to home. Now, what did I do here? Your daily candle there on the right. Um, oh, I ended up with a seasonal. Okay, so here's your constellation map. By hitting the icon on the constellation table, your constellation maps. Uh, the emotes you've collected are going to be blinking red. Um, oh, there's a free hair in that one. That's why it was blinking at me. It's available to collect. Things where you have something available to collect are going to blink red. And obviously I'm missing an emote in the aisle. This, I think, is when I realized that the hair was free. <laughs> the ponytail and the short hair and the, and the... Okay. So you can access everything here. Look at what's available. Basically the same as I just did in the social space. Closet, candles. Oh, and in the little icon indicating you have hair to change into new hair. Um, instead of it just opening the closet, now you actually have to tap the icon. There's a little icon, cape icon. I don't have the orange cape on this account. This is a brand new account created after the reset. Any cr any accounts that were created before the reset have the orange cape. Any accounts that were created after the reset. Do not. I was looking at, it gives you a hint as to where things are found too. That's coming on. It go, go, comes and goes, that hint. A lot of hairstyles in this game. They're all on the wiki. Uh, I have all of the cosmetics still on the wiki, thankfully. And there's a little help as to what, what you do. They, they put in these help um, things now, which didn't used to be here, which are kind of cool. Instruments, seasons. It gives you an indication what you're supposed to be doing. Adventure awaits, and they show a krill. Haha, <laughs> nice. And dressing up. Now they, all that seasonal attire, though, there. And now I'm just briefly going to show the um, invite shrines. These should work approximately the same way in the live version as they do in the beta. Right now they have to be part of the beta. So you tap it, create your thing, name your friend, and then share 
Or you can just take a screenshot and have them scan it, which is what I did. I then texted it to her. Um, pretty simple. The other person just scans it, using, doing the same thing, and that's it. So now we're going to go back to Prairie and get the emote that I skipped. I'm just going to cut there. Okay, so here's the entrance to caves from uh, fields. The butterfly catch remote was to the right here. And here's where it tells you this one you can't just fly right through like the other side. Prairie and uh, Isle emotes needed. Had to burn through that one. And here's the other main cave's entrance. Not the back entrance. Still getting used to flying. You can see the emote I'm looking for is that one right there. And there is actually a tunnel off to the left from where we are, right over there somewhere. I can't quite see it on my screen. Um, you can see it now over there as a it's covered by a constellation gate but the actual starting point of the emote is up this way so if you go through that cave to the left behind us you'd have to go all the way around to here so I just enter from here instead because it's quicker and it's the big constellation gate and obviously needs emotes and emote from mountains which is or not mountains forest which is the next level Candles, skipping them, and here is the emote starting point. This one also used to be quite a bit more challenging, especially with people, other people. Now it's just so much easier just to run down here instead of have to drag a drag a flame down here. The the route is the same, although I bypassed part of it because you can now. Uh, this uh, is in a completely different place but the animation's been the same for some time. I love this animation. It's one of my favorites when they first introduced it. Oh, it's just, it's just so cute. Of course this was one of the first new ones. Uh, so it was, you know, I'm having some waiting for it to catch up with me. There we go. Um, this was one of the first expanded animations for the emote. This, this, not this, not the quest we just did, but this animation here. This, the little cut scene. So, of course, it was one of the first ones done in this way, which was a little scene from life of the spirit. I'd like to do someday is it would be a challenge but it's to take to go back to my old videos I'm sure I have them of what these used to look like way back in the early days how much they've changed okay and so that is that emote and now you have to finish the, the level again so that it uh, will appear in your home space. And again, this, this scene, this cut scene is one you cannot skip currently. Hopefully eventually they'll fix that so that you can skip the cut scene and still send the spirit to the sky. But right now this one for some reason doesn't work that way. So then we will be on to forest.